Welcome to part two of our video, Who is Abram's Seed? Now, in part one, we saw that um, the scripture says that in Isaac, uh, the seed of Abram is counted. But if we look here, in um, back in Galatians 3, we see a very interesting scripture, which actually shows us a greater depth of this question, um, who is Abram's seed? So let us read there in Galatians 3 from verse 15 to 16. And it says, well, actually, we, we, we only need to read verse 16. It says, now... To Abram and his seed were the promises made. He does not say and to seeds as of many, but as of one. And to your seed, who is Christ. So you can see that seed is capitalized, who is Christ. And if you remember, if you watched the, any of the previous um, videos, you uh, may remember that we've already had this capital uh, uh, capitalized seed. L let us go and look at it again, also for the sake of um, those of you who haven't watched any previous videos. Now, I would recommend you would watch the other videos because um, these teachings build on each other. So while you can understand each little video by itself, it will make much more sense if you um, watch all the little videos. And um, I also ask that if you like the videos, that you would subscribe to The Widow's Oil so that when I make videos, you can um, receive them. Now, in Genesis 3, from verse 15, we, we, we first meet with that seed that the promised seed, it says there where the Lord God speaks to the serpent, um, where he um, curses the serpent. He says, and I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your seed and her seed, capitalized, and he shall bruise your head and you shall bruise his heel. So in the King James Version, it's capitalized to to show that it actually refers to Jesus Christ, the promise of the Messiah. So I want to show you here the depth of this, which says the seed of Abram, who is Christ. It is really, really important. Um, now, why does it say in Romans 9, the seed is counted in Isaac, and yet it says the seed who is Christ? Well, the way I would understand it is the promise, the line, the physical line of Jesus started with Isaac, and it ended with Jesus. But actually what is important is that it was a spiritual seed, a spiritual line which uh, from who um, Jesus Christ was brought forth. So that is why the end of that whole line, that seed line is Jesus Christ. So Jesus Christ ultimately is the seed of Abram. And then in the bottom year of um, Galatians 3, we also see a very important thing. Um, and it says there from verse 26, for you are all sons of God through faith in Christ Jesus. So whether you are from the Middle East or from Africa or Asia or anywhere in the world, the Western world, um, if you turn to Jesus Christ, uh, by faith, you are a son of God. It says, for as many as of you were baptized into Christ, have put on Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither slave nor free. There is neither male nor female. For you are all one in Christ Jesus. And if you are Christ's, then you are Abram's seed and is according to the promise. And isn't that beautiful?
So we've got even a greater depth. We've got in Isaac, will your seed be called? And then the seed of Abram is Christ. And then if we belong to Christ, we also are counted as Abram's seed and we are heirs of the promise.